Hello there, my name is Intuition. My YouTube channel is letter N, the number two, space W-I-T-C-H-I-N. And my TikTok is Intuition, the letter N, the number two, W-I-T-C-H-I-N. Tonight I am doing a psychic medium reading with um, DMX. <sighs> you know, sometimes I, when I read for people, or read with people, I usually would at least look up their name. Like I would know their first name. Like, you know, I knew Biggie name was Christopher Wallace. I mean, cause you know, like how you know Jay-Z name is Sean Carter. I don't know DMX name. Hmm. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. He said, I was chasing a high that didn't exist. It's sort of like new levels, new devils. He said, no matter how high I was, I wanted to go higher. He said, and, and had I just put that, put that same drive into my career, that same chase into my career, maybe I wouldn't have gone down this path. He said, but I, I wasn't... I, this this didn't just start. This wasn't something that just started. It was the he said it was funded. It was funded. It was funded by who I was. It was funded by the music, by the power. You know, I think he was um, anemic because uh, he's cold as hell. He's very cold. And it's not because he's deceased. It's just he's literally cold. His body is cold. Even in the summertime, he like the first person to go grab a jacket out of the car as soon as the sun go down, right? Still be 72 degrees outside and he out there like zipped up or something. But he could never keep his shirt on. It was so weird. He said, it's the battle. It's the battle. He said, it's a battle of good and evil. He said, I didn't have my shirt off because I wanted to. I had my shirt off because that's what people wanted to see. Because that's what people expected. He's like drooling. He drools a lot. I don't know. But it's like a thirst, like a fucking dog. That's crazy. You know, like when dog's tongue is hanging out their mouth... It's not, it's not that he actually draws a lot. He really relates to the dogs. He really relates to, because number one, loyalty. He was a man of his word. He wasn't, he like, if he made you a promise, he was going to keep that promise. If he, you know, he always made good on his word. He said, not every time, for the most part, yeah. He said, I prayed. I prayed before everything I did. He, he, he said, it's, it's like this nigga praying, <laughs> you know, before the show, after the show, during the show, whenever I felt called to, I prayed. No matter what the songs was about. He said, I could hear it. I could hear it. He's talking about hearing like the voice of God, hearing, hearing a higher power. It's what kept him saying. He said, it's not easy. It ain't easy. I'm black. I'm a man. I'm DMX. He's talking about paparazzi or publicity or something. Public. Public. Oh, living in the public eye. It's pressure. It's lots of pressure. Pressure to do right. He said, pressure as a father. Pressure as a husband. Pressure as a friend. He took his roles in people's lives very serious. So if, 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 if I say you my brother, you my brother. If I say you my dog, you my dog. He said, because money came by loyalty. He like, loyalty is in you. You're born loyal. You don't, he, <laughs> he like, you don't have to be taught how to be loyal. There's no book on this is loyal. He's talking about it's in you, it's in you. 
He said, unfortunately, not everybody around me was loyal. He said, someone was feeding me. Drugs, though, not food. Because they, they would do if he, like, they would make it happen. If he say he want this, he got it. People were already intimidated by his voice, although he was a very gentle person. And it's not that, he, you know, he never, you know, got out of his body or nothing. But it's just like, overall, he had a very calming, like, his voice is, is not a mask. But it's pretty much like it stops people from really getting to know him as a softer individual. Because his voice, I mean, his voice is very, like, out there, right? You don't want to get yelled at by DMX. He said it kind of was a, 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 a tool, a tool to keep people away. But I'm seeing like bars, like a gate, like a gate, um, you know, oh, people having walls up. It's kind of like, you know, it was a wall. It was a barrier from people even attempting to really get close or, or people really attempting to wrong him. His voice was protective. Something about him being just like his father, like just like, just something about his, like it's just like his father. I don't know if his looks, you know, if his is his demeanor, if it's literally the way he stands, um, or just overall, even if he wasn't raised by his father or raised around his father, um, everything is like he embodies a lot of characters or, or something, characteristics or physical characteristics characteristics of his father. Let me see, what do I want to know about? He said, I ain't choose this shit. It chose me. He knows this was his path. He said he wasn't giving that voice for, a re for no reason. I wasn't giving that voice. I wasn't giving this shit for nothing. This shit wasn't all for nothing. Loyalty was so big to him, but I mean, I know some might say it's obvious because he was, you know, always around dogs. My mouth is watering again. It's loyalty. Like, if he say he got your back, he got your back to the grave. Ain't no, like, ain't no, that's it, right? I'm taking it with me. He's the kind of person where you can confide in and like poor and, and not worry about or, you know, vent and not worry about your stuff getting back out there. He became combative though. He wasn't always like, I'm not saying he was perfect, but I, I want to know, you know, just more about him, I guess. But he was combative. He went through periods. He went through periods. He said, especially uh, withdrawals, detox. He regret. He regrets some during detox. He regrets something something that happened during detox. My ears just went so fucking silent. Listen, listen. He didn't listen. He didn't listen to people. He didn't take advice. He couldn't even hear God. That's what it is. He literally couldn't hear God. He couldn't hear it. Because earlier he said, I could hear. I could hear it. He could no longer hear it. When he was going through detox, he could no longer hear God. And God is what kept him sane. And so not only was it going through the withdrawals that it was, you know, causing him to not be himself, it was literally because... When my when my ears just went out, it's like it was like a wave of like fucking silence. Like something literally just stopped it, stopped the hearing. Like I could no longer right, and it's like all of a sudden the voice of God goes silent, and then that fear, that worry, that anxiety, the 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 he said the calling, the call, the call, the the like the the thirst, the hunger. It's like he studied explaining, like giving it these names, but it's really just the drugs. Like the it it gets it becomes so fucking compelling. It's like making this is the only thing you can think about. 
He said, so now I'm battling that and now I'm battling this. And then it's something about money, like owing money or like some legal thing with money that's happening. But then he got other shit. It's so much. And it make you. He said, it make you. It make you want to do it. You damn near feel like you got to and stay sane. He said, but I knew that wasn't God. He said, sometimes that urge and that calling is much stronger than anything you could imagine. He said, it got to be. People losing families, people losing homes, people losing faith, people losing cars, people losing friends. Like he's naming, naming all the stuff you lose from drugs. He said, most of all, you lose yourself. Me. That's who I lost. He, don't get me wrong. I lost other. I lost a lot. I lost a lot. He said, but I lost me. He said, but no matter what, I always found my way back to God. He said, even when I couldn't hear, I felt it. I got a big ass chill. Give me some cards, please. Ancestors, okay. spirit, guys, divine, holy spirit, universe, please assist me in getting more clear and accurate messages from DMX. Please make the messages loud, clear. My mouth has never done this in the reading. Loud, clear, and accurate. Like, I can literally see a brown pit bull with water. He got, like, white around his mouth. But it's not, like, foam. It's just as far as brown but or, like, reddish, reddish brown. But it's, like, white. And, yeah, obviously, like, the inside of the lips is, like, black or, like, you know, darkish red or something. But overall, it's a black and white. A black and, I'm sorry, a brown, a reddish brown pit, pit bull with white. But why is there black and white? There must be another dog. Another dog, but it's not the one whose mouth is watering. How many dogs did he have? I don't know. But because I keep saying black, but seeing brown, I know that there's like another dog, like, but I can't see it. Mm, my middle finger hurts. Messages. He said, prayer is so powerful, so powerful. And I knew, he said, I knew the power of prayer. He said, see, just because, just because you in the streets don't mean you don't know God. He said, I keep my ear to the streets. I keep my ear to the Bible. He said, sometimes the lines just get thin. And then you cross them. He said, but it really ain't no coming back after you cross them. That's it. He said, anything can be tempting. Anything, anything can set you off. Your career. He said, you risk it all. You risk it all. He said, chasing the hat that you're never going to get. It's like, he's like, uh, like reiterating these words very powerfully, like loudly, like that you're never going to get. It's because he wants people to understand that regardless, you're never going to get the high that you want. He said, because it's not the high that you're looking for, it's you. It's peace, it's love, it's happiness, it's joy, it's fulfillment, it's everything. He said, it's everything. But he's sitting down, like he's sitting down in the chair though. He's very comfortable. It's not like he likes super poised or, you know, it's like he's chilling, but he just like, he's really into his words. Because he has a spotlight. He was obviously drawn to children and dogs. Or am I the only person who feel like he was drawn to children? I don't even know why I feel that way, but I feel like something about him is obviously drawn to children or are children drawn to him. I mean, so I, I, I sometimes in my personal opinion, I feel like children and dogs kind of go hand in hand in the sense of like, 
if you get along with dogs, like if, if children are drawn to you, like dogs are drawn to you, or if dogs are drawn to your children, I don't know why, but that's just like in my personal opinion, like there, if a dog is usually drawn to your children, and so I can't tell if it's, if he was drawn to them, he said it was equal. Opposites attract. I look like a human, but he said I identify as a dog. And he said the dog looked like a dog, but the dog identified as a human. He said we were all once babies before. We were all once children before. Now he's talking about how children are the future. He said we can stop it. So he was like, um... I can't really call it an activist something. I mean, it could have been an activist, but it's something that, like children empowerment in a sense. I see him in a white tank top now. I don't know what he was wearing when he was sitting in the chair. I never paid attention. But now he has on a white tank top. So it's probably changing. We're probably, I don't know if if something is changing now. Because I feel like the weather changed. I don't feel like it's, you know, because he got cold. He had to take something off. Why did he get hot? It was the excitement. It was the excitement of performing. But I think that when he was high, his body was hotter. That's when the clothes started coming off. He was emotional. He like the kind of person that no matter if he cry in front of you or not, he still, he didn't feel like, he didn't feel, he never felt less of a man. So I could share this in front of you like I'm human, right? I don't have to, I don't, he like, I don't have to have my tears. I don't have to have my emotions. He keeps talking about my brothers is my brothers. I could hug my brothers. I could love my brothers. I could talk to my brothers. Because these brothers, he are constantly, he's constantly speaking of, is no one that he has blood relation with. He says, some from the game, some not. <laughs> what? That's funny because <laughs> it's funny to me because he don't just mean like um like music. It's like some from music, but some is from like in the streets. But he he called both of them the game. Some some from the game, some not. A lot of things he say or said went over people's heads. That's so funny. And I can see how. Like I mean, I know it don't take like Albert Einstein to figure out what he was saying, but it's hard for me to explain. I just thought that was hilarious. I do, I laugh at a lot of shit though. Anyway, so. Okay, give me some cards. <sighs> he was getting hot and taking his clothes off. But it's just like, you know, first I'm hot, let me take my sweat off. Let me take my jacket off. What did he have when he was sitting in that chair, though? He said, all that shit don't even matter. He said, you think it matter until it don't. He said, think you think it matter until you got it and you ain't happy. Until you ain't had enough. He keeps reiterating this hash shit, and it's simply, in my opinion, because it's like he knows the call, like the pull that it has on you, but he knows that it's not like what you're chasing doesn't exist. And so please don't do it.
That is crazy. That is wild. He is so sorry that he disappointed his mother. He is, I didn't even see this damn card. He is so sorry at how he handled his finances. What he spent his money on or did not, what he did spend his money on or did not spend his money on. Sometimes he feel on top of the world. Sometimes he feel like he from the bottom. Highly intelligent. Highly. He said, but sometimes we don't use, we just because, just because we, we're intelligent don't mean we use our intelligence. I made mistakes. That's how I learned. I didn't, I didn't learn the first time. He said, I'm not embarrassed. He said, I'm an example. Best of both worlds. He said, even when I looked like I had it, I was losing it all. He said, ultimately, I paid the price for my decisions. If he could come back, he would probably go speak at a children's, like, I don't know, event. Um, like in the oddest form. It's like, because he's he's literally trying to convey to someone to choose a different path. It's not worth it. Like, life is short. M like, make better decisions and stuff. It's like, he's really trying to use use me as an example. It's how he feels like he's using himself as an example, you know, as to don't do this, right? It's not worth it. He said, people will tell you why, but they can't show you. They can't show you how they had it lost and then lost it. They can't show you how they lost and then they got it back and then lost it again. He said, but I ultimately paid the price, something that I could never get back. Something that I, he said, yeah, but I, I ain't going to be DMX. He talked, okay, so if he's talking about you can reincarnate, but I'm not coming back as DMX. He said, there will only be one me. There will only be one DMX. He said, life is about cycles. He said, I completed the cycles. He said, I wasn't, I didn't fall victim. I wasn't a victim. I chose that. That was my decision. Somebody he knows is like blaming themselves for his death. Someone close to him like literally blames himself for his death. But he's saying, I chose that. That was my decision. To do, you know, to, he, he made his choices, right? He made his choices accordingly. He said, I was aware. He said, I wasn't, it's, it's, not, it's not like I wasn't thinking. is beautiful his spirit forever lives on and it's not just because you know maybe people still play his music or or you know he's free now he's no longer being demonized he's no longer being criticized He's, he's showing me like a microscope, like I'm no longer, it's not a telescope, it's a microscope, like under exam or under, it's like someone was keeping close watch or, or it could just be, you know, it would be showing like how there are so many things, but he's like being focused on because he's the MX, like a special, um, a very unique, you know, like if there was a Petri dish, you got all this stuff in there, you look and it's like, this one is different 
this one is different. Like the, the, the fucking structure of this one, of the DMX one. Oh yeah. Let's watch it. Let's get a up close. It's like a very, very up close and personal. He didn't feel like he had, he wanted privacy. He said, I couldn't get it. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. It's just like, I literally can see him talking and like the gestures, the hand gestures, the face, the stance, everything. Cause in the, in the chair, he was sitting down now in the white shirt, he's standing up. It's a, a fucking white beater. He got on jeans. Man, I have closing cards. His spirit forever lives on. Oh, that card just came out so beautifully. What is this? If he had the opportunity to come back and do this shit all over again, he would make different choices and different decisions. In fact, I don't see him wanting to be um, famous. I don't see him wanting fame and fortune. He said, I work a nine to five, to be honest with you. <laughs> he said, I prefer a nine to five, to be honest with you. He said, God gives and God takes. He said, he gave me life. How could I be mad? I wouldn't live it the same, he said, but how could I be mad? I was there. I made it. I did it. And he's not talking about like made it and did it and career. He's talking about just life. Like I was like, I, ex I had that experience, right? Because he said not everybody is blessed enough to see, to live, to, 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 he said, explore, to adventure. Now he's showing me a crowd, like, because now he's showing me like the adventure is like, crowds right people don't some people aren't celebrated yet he was highly and like worldwide celebrated that was an honor so i couldn't complain i'm grateful wow he thank you for taking taking time to hear my side my side of the story he said, because people need to know. <laughs> and I would guess because, you know, sometimes like not social media, but media will kind of portray different things of people, um, especially when they're celebrities and especially when they have like, you know, they are like certain demeanor or, you know, whatever, um, even like hiccups or or things in their careers, like they'll they'll display them in a certain way that isn't really of that person. And so this would be, you know, a way that he appreciates being seen and heard. Anyway, that is um, what I have. I'm so fucking zoned out. That's it. Thank y'all. Bye.